as the self-titled star of the 1997 film, Selena. At the beginning, when things started getting more crazy, after like a couple of my movies came out and things change a little bit, you know, it becomes a publicity game, it becomes a lot of different things. It's not just about being an actress and working anymore, you become more of a, a business and then that, that's weird at first. Jennifer quickly found out that being famous came at a price. I said to myself, oh my God, what have I done? You know, when, when that really hits, you know, you, you can, nobody can ever prepare you for something like that or tell you this is what it's going to be like when, every, when people start recognizing you and you can't go, you know, places without people yeah, saying your name and stuff like that. So you're like, oh my gosh, wait a minute, I've given up my anonymity here. Jennifer's privacy wasn't the only victim of her growing popularity. The pressures of stardom also tore apart her new marriage to Johnny Noah. It's tough because not only was it my first year of marriage, it was like my first year of celebrity. And so that was weird because I'm getting used to it and then there's also somebody else who didn't bargain for it. You know, who wasn't preparing for it his whole life, you know, trying to get used to it too. So it's been, it's been a rough ride for us. Jennifer's romantic troubles would continue during her well-publicized relationship with Sean P. Diddy Combs. But they didn't stop a determined Jennifer from forging ahead with dual careers in movies and music. Her first album, On the Six, sold more than 7 million copies. And her follow-up, J-Lo, debuted at number one on the Billboard charts. I think everything happens for a reason. I actually had two record deals before I even started acting. I had one with the Fly Girls when I was on In Living Color. We had one with Virgin Records, and then I had another one, a solo one with Giant Records. So this was, you know, something I always wanted to do. As her fame grew, Jennifer enjoyed the opportunity to pick and choose among projects. I wouldn't do something just because, you know, it's, it's lucrative or it's, you know, something that people think I should do or something like that. No, I only do things and, and I sprout the ideas because it's something that means something to me and I have a passion for. And enough packs plenty of punch for Jennifer to be passionate about. I was like, you know, the important thing is for people to walk away with hope. You know what I mean? Um, just a little bit to know if they're in this situation or in any kind of negative, unhealthy situation, that they have the power within themselves to change it. And now that Jennifer Lopez has settled into stardom, East Cindy Hom set out to clear up the oh, only yeah. question that's left. And your fans want to know, should we be calling you Jennifer Lopez or J-Lo? No, my name is Jennifer Lopez, and the name of my album is J-Lo, and the name of my clothing line is J-Lo. Um, so... It's, it's kind of a nickname that the fans gave me, and some of them call me that, but, you know, it's up to you. But my name is Jennifer. That's m the name my mother gave me. <laughs> up next, we'll 